going on YouTube? This is Sanitary103 again, promoting clean eating and a clean and healthy lifestyle. So in some of my previous videos, I talked about water and its potential role for weight loss. I also recommended how much water you should drink per day. If you missed those videos, I'll hook you up with a link at the top of the corners of this video. But in this video, I wanted to talk about how drinking too much water can actually have a negative impact on your sleeping patterns. Now, when you think of water, sleeping doesn't really you know ring a bell right i mean there are two different categories they're in two different stratospheres as far as i'm concerned however drinking too much water close to bedtime can have a negative impact on your sleeping patterns okay so here's a scenario you went to work from like nine to five you got to the gym by 5 30 you worked out till about 6 30 you came home by seven you showered you ate and it's already eight o'clock and you need to go to bed by 11 p.m now you're already pretty dehydrated from working out because you've lost a lot of electrolytes and a lot of fluids so you start drinking a lot of water because it's supposed to be good for you right i totally agree with that however what happens is that if you start drinking too much before bedtime what's going to happen is you're going to go to sleep and in the middle of the night you're going to wake up and you're going to have to go to the restroom this has happened to me numerous times and i noticed it about three or four years ago when i first moved out of my parents uh, house into my own studio apartment and i was waking up in the middle of the night like one or two o'clock in the morning and i was having to pee now granted i was able to go back to sleep but upon waking up guess what i felt really groggy even though i got my eight hours of sleep or whatever it may be it was interrupted. However, if you have eight hours of interrupted sleep, it can actually be equivalent to maybe getting five hours of straight sleep. And this could have a negative impact on your well being. So, how do you solve this problem? What do you do? Do you drink less water? Do you stay dehydrated and go to bed parched and wake up with cotton mouth? Absolutely not. What you gotta do is you need to experiment with your own body. What I found out is that let's say if you need to go to bed by 10 p.m., you got to stop drinking water or any type of fluid at least an hour or maybe even an hour and a half before. I would actually say an hour and a half to be safe. So if you have to go to bed at 10 p.m., try to get that last sip of water at around 8.30 p.m. and then make sure you go to the bathroom right before you go to bed. By doing that, there's a less chance that you're gonna wake up in the middle of the night and that you're also gonna get the full you know, eight to nine hours of sleep and you're gonna feel more rested and alert by being more well rested and alert you're going to be more sharp at work and also at the gym and the last thing that i recommend is to make sure that you're very hydrated throughout the day especially on the days that you work out now i've had this problem like i said in the past where you know i work out really hard i lose a lot of fluids especially if you're doing a lot of cardio which i don't do as much cardio anymore but for people that are endurance athletes you lose a lot of water by staying hydrated throughout the day and before and during your workouts, you'll have a less need to drink so much after your workout. And by doing that, you won't have this problem where you're chugging all this water right before you go to bed and it's hurting your sleep. Before I depart, I just wanna say it does take some experimentation. If you have to go to bed by 10 p.m. and you're still able to drink something at like 9.30, 30 minutes before bed, and still sleep through the night perfect without having to go to the bathroom, that probably means that you were dehydrated prior to going to bed. So it's gonna take some experimentation, like I said, but I would say at the very least, an hour and a half to even two hours before you go to bed, make sure you have your last sip so your sleep doesn't get negatively affected. All right, comments and questions, always welcome. Thank you for watching another video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all the latest in diet, health, and fitness. See you next time, bye.